Once upon a time, there was a little girl named Lily. Lily lived in a small village on the edge of a large, mysterious forest. The forest was dense and dark, and the villagers told many stories about strange creatures and magic that lurked within. But Lily was curious and adventurous. She loved discovering new things and dreamed of one day exploring the forest. One sunny morning, as the birds chirped happily and the flowers bloomed in the garden, Lily decided that the day had come. She packed a small backpack with bread, cheese, and a bottle of water, and set off toward the forest. Her heart pounded with excitement as she reached the first trees. The forest was cool and quiet. Lily walked cautiously, careful not to get lost. After a while, she discovered a narrow path leading deeper into the forest. She followed it and soon found herself in a beautiful, enchanted part of the woods. The trees here were taller, and the leaves glowed in all the colors of the rainbow. A soft murmur of water made her pause. She followed the sound and found a small stream with crystal clear water. As Lily bent down to take a drink, she noticed something shiny on the stream's bank. It was a small silver key. Curious, she picked it up and examined it closely. It looked very old and was intricately decorated. Lily wondered what this key might unlock. Maybe there's a door it opens, she thought, and decided to keep searching. As she walked along the path, she discovered a large oak tree with a small door in its trunk. This must be it, she exclaimed excitedly, and pulled out the key. It fit perfectly, and the door opened with a soft click. Behind it was a staircase leading deep into the earth. Lily took a deep breath and cautiously descended. At the bottom of the stairs, she found herself in an underground cave illuminated by sparkling crystals. In the center of the cave stood a large stone table with an old scroll on it. Lily picked up the scroll and carefully unrolled it. It read, Those who find the key are chosen to guard the forest's secret. Follow the sparkling crystals and discover the magic hidden deep within. Lily looked around and noticed that the crystals in the cave formed a shimmering path. She followed it and soon came to a large lake, whose water glowed an eerie green. On the shore stood a beautiful woman, with long golden hair and a dress that seemed to be made of leaves and flowers. Welcome, Lily, said the woman in a gentle voice. I am Flora, the guardian of the forest. You have found the key and thus have the right to learn our secrets. This forest is full of magic and wonders, but with this magic comes responsibility. We need your help to protect the forest. Lily nodded respectfully. What can I do? Flora smiled. There is a dark power trying to steal the forest's magic. An evil wizard named Mortis has discovered that the forest holds magical powers, and he wants to use them for himself. You must stop him before it's too late. Lily felt courage rising within her. I will do what I can, she said determinedly. Flora handed her a small golden compass. This compass will guide you. It will show you the way to Mortis Lair. Be careful and trust your instincts. Lily took the compass and set off. The compass led her through dense woods, over bubbling streams, and finally to a dark cave from which an eerie light shone. With a pounding heart, she entered and saw Mortis, who was just preparing a powerful spell. Stop! Lily shouted bravely. I will not let you steal the forest's magic! Mortis turned and laughed scornfully. And who will stop me? A little girl? But Lily was not intimidated. She remembered Flora's words and held the compass tightly in her hand. Suddenly, the compass began to glow, and a powerful energy flowed through Lily. With a powerful shout, she directed this energy at Mortis, who immediately froze and could no longer continue his spell. That's impossible, he gasped before disappearing in a cloud of black smoke. Relieved, Lily sank to her knees. She had done it. She had saved the forest. When she returned, she was greeted by Flora and the other magical creatures of the forest with cheers. You have saved us all, Lily, Flora said gratefully. You are a true heroine. Lily smiled modestly. I just did what I could. The forest is a wonderful place and deserves to be protected. From that day on, Lily was not just a simple girl from the village. She was the protector of the magical forest, 
the brave heroine who had saved the forest from evil. And so she lived happily and had many more adventures, always in harmony with the forest's magic. And if she hasn't died, she still lives today, always ready to protect the forest and preserve its secrets.